In today's video, I'm going to go through all my sewing books with you, so stay tuned. I've been sewing for four years now and over the course of my sewing career, if you want to call it that, over the course of my sewing hobbies, I have accumulated all these books. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you, I'm not a big book person, certainly not in terms of learning to sew. I much prefer to use YouTube or the internet in general. But I have accumulated these books, so I thought I'd go through them and talk a little bit about each one to let you know what I think of them. So the top one is pattern making templates for skirts and dresses. I bought this one when I became interested in pattern drafting and felt that it would be easy to use and show me how. And it is, it's a really good book. There's an example. Um, however, it only goes up to certain sizes and so that has that meant that I never got around to using it because it would have meant further grading and page 21 where it's got the size chart so the size chart goes from a bust 30 waist 25 and hip 34 up to bust 46 waist 38 and hip 50 so I just slightly fall outside of that so it has sat unused but I will be using this at some point because I do want to learn pattern drafting myself the next one which is how to use adapt and design sewing patterns I bought this one from Waterstones when I was going through a phase of buying sewing books. It's another one I haven't used. I haven't used hardly any of the books. Um, but again, it shows you how to pattern draft, how to alter patterns. And I really need to sit down and study it. It's got a description of lots of fabrics in there, so that's quite helpful. It looks to be more about altering the fit, although it has got a section on designing your own blocks, which is something I really need to do. I haven't done it yet. I know how to do it, but I just haven't got around to it. So this book is a Merchant and Mills book. Now I bought this in Waterstones as well. I flicked through it. It's got some lovely patterns in here but they're not dressmaking patterns. They've got a calico bag, they've got a bolster cushion, a document bag, a tailored shawl and a fisherman's top. So I really don't know why I bought this, although it has got a tailor's ham and sleeve roll there. Um, and I do need to make my own sleeve roll. I have just bought some sawdust to do that. So I will use this pattern book at some point. All the patterns are in the back there. But yeah, so far it hasn't been used, but I will definitely use it. I'm going to use all of these. This book, The Curated Closet by Anushka Rees, was a book that was doing the rounds on the internet. I think it was... I think it was Harriet that first found this book and recommended it and everyone picked it up after that because um, I don't have a clue about my wardrobe I really don't and I need all the help I can get I've sort of half read the book but not really um, so I need to finish this book I don't really have an opinion on it at the moment because it is only half finished. Now this book is an old book called The Complete Guide to Sewing. First edition 1978. 
This is a book that lots of people have got and it's got some really, really good advice in here for everything you could ever want to know about dressmaking. Don't be silly, I haven't actually read it or used it, but I bought it because I paid 50p for this in a charity shop in Freshwater. And I really like this book. Sorry, this one is called Pattern Cutting by Denick Schumann. I, I chose this book, it was a Christmas present from my husband. He'd been in Waterstones and picked up another book. I'd walked in and seen it and it really wasn't a book that I would have any interest in. Bless him, so um, I gave him a hint that this book would be more appropriate for me and guess what turned up in my stocking on Christmas day. And again, it's about designing your own blocks. And it's got everything you could ever need to know in here. So I need to sit down and spend some time with this book, along with the other pattern cutting ones, and create my block. Now this one is Classic Tailoring Techniques. And I bought this when I was first sewing. Well, it's probably, I bought this about a year into my sewing journey. Um, and it shows you the real tailoring methods, not just the shortcuts that you learn online, but the actual tailoring method. So when I make my first coat, I will be referring to this. I haven't really made anything that needs tailoring so far. Yes, yeah, so I will be using this when I make my coat this winter. Now, this book I bought on the back of everyone raving about it online. It's called Fit for Real People by Patty Palmer and Marta Alto. Now, lots and lots of people have raved about this and it's very, it is supposed to be very helpful for fitted issues. However, However, I found that you really need two people there to make the most out of it because it's tissue paper fitting. So like we can get a big four pattern and then you can drape the actual tissue on your body to see where you need to make adjustments. It's very difficult to do when you're on your own. Um, and so I haven't been able to use this method. It may be helpful if you have a body form that is the same size as you then you could drape it on your body form. And it, it does look like a really helpful way of fitting, but I just can't do it my way. Have you got this book? If you'd like to know if you found this book helpful, or any of the books in fact, so do leave a comment below and let me know. So this was another charity shop find, a McCall's Sewing in Colour. I've had this book about two years and I haven't really used it other than as a rest. It's got a nice hard bag, um, but it is a lovely book. Let's see when this one was produced. The first edition of this book was published in 1964. The second impression was 1965. Paid £1.50 for that. So, there was a time when I was watching a lot of draping videos on YouTube and I wanted to learn to make my own patterns by draping. However, the body form that I had was made of plastic and I couldn't penetrate pins into it, so I couldn't really drape off of it. But I didn't know that when I bought this book and I paid a lot of money for this book. It's got a CD. CD in the back. It's in full colour. Absolutely everything you would want to know about all the popular designs. This is a book that I'm really proud to own, even though, again, I haven't used it. Now, many of you probably have this book. It's Gertie's Ultimate Dress Book. So, as it says on the tin, it's got lots of 
It has lots of pretty dresses in there. And it has the patterns in the back. I really love these designs. The only problem is it does not come in my size and it's going to mean quite a bit of fitting and grading up to be able to use it. So I'm choosing to wait until I've lost enough weight that I can fit into these. And then once I do, I will be making every single pattern in the book. I absolutely love this book. This book, the Colette Handbook, I'm not such a big fan of this book, to be honest. Um, the designs are nice enough. It's a very simple book. This would be a really good book for a total beginner. It goes through lots of different things, such as preparing your fabric, laying out your patterns, cutting your fabric, everything you could think of. The dresses are okay at best. I'm not that impressed with it. So I haven't used it, to be honest. But again, if you are new to sewing, it might be a really good book for you to use. And the final book, but by no means the least book, this is probably my all-time favourite sewing book that I've ever come across, and it's one book I really have used. And it's Tilly and the Buttons, I Love at First Stitch. Now, this is the... I credit this book with getting me into sewing totally and utterly. I had a sewing machine, you might have heard my story on my seamstress tag, um, but I had a sewing machine and I didn't use it for a good six months. And then I came across the Tilly the Buttons blog and it really captured my attention. I then ordered this book and begun making all the patterns from this book. Well, I say all the patterns. I've made probably about four or five of them. And I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you purchase this book if you're new to sewing. You can get it for fairly cheap on Amazon. I will leave a link below. So that's all my books. It's not a great deal of books, but it's enough, especially considering I haven't used most of them. Which of my books do you like? Have you got any of them? Leave a comment below, and if you like my content, please subscribe. Until next time, bye for now. You can fly high in the sky, shine